I will now be interviewing Gabrielle Wong, a popular Australian author of children's fiction, but also a huge help and the Befriend a Child in Detention program by donating her books. How long have you been an author? Uh, I've been an author about 13 years. Yeah. What inspired you to become an author? Oh, you know, my very first book that I read was by all by myself when I was a child was The Magic Faraway Tree. Okay. And I love that book. Do you like that book? Yeah. I love that book so much that I just thought, oh, I'd love to write something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's an inspiration. Can you tell us about some of the books that you've written? Um, the books that I write are mainly for 8 to 12 year olds and they have a lot of magic in them, a lot of ghosts, but also I write about fitting in and um, because being Chinese Australian I had a lot of trouble fitting in when I was a child and so I write books about you know trying to fit in when you feel a little bit different. Yeah, that would have been hard. How did you first learn about the Friend a Child in Detention program? A friend, uh, another author, friend uh, wrote me an email and said Dr June Factor what has put together this is, is trying to get an organisation together to um, connect with children in detention and I thought that was a really, really good idea so I contacted June and um, yeah, it's been interested ever since. Uh, can you tell us some more about the program? Uh, it's, uh, well mainly it's collecting books and uh, having children write letters and these are sent to detention centres but uh, in Australia, but also off the mainland in Nauru, and where there are many children, about 90 children in detention there. And um, in order for them not to feel so isolated, um, the friend of child in detention is a great way to show that they are actually, haven't been forgotten, yes. that they're not just stuck like in a jail. Um, why are you interested in helping these people? Uh, I suppose because I would hate it if I had to flee my country, if Australia was suddenly at war and I had to flee my home with my children, where would I go? Um, I would hate to be put into detention and not to be welcomed into a country. And in fact, Australia went through that in the Second World War and I've written about that in the Pearly books um, when Darwin was bombed and all the people in Darwin had to leave their homes. They were refugees, just like the refugees here today. What inspired you to actually donate books? Uh, well, of course, you know, we need, they need books to read. Books are so important. Um, we all love books and they're a great way to, to take you away from the reality, maybe because, you know, they're probably living a very terrible life in, in Nauru, especially. And um, they can, you know, it shows, it, it, it helps Perhaps it could help with their English as well, because yeah. they might like to learn English. Um, the book that I donated, um, I only donated one book in the beginning because that was a picture book, and I thought, didn't know what their level of English would be. But since um, all of uh, the children from the primary um, in grades five and sixes have written letters, I realise now, and got letters back, I realise now that there are a lot of uh, children who in detention who actually can can read English and write English very well. Which books were they? Well, which book was that one? Uh, that one was The Race for the Chinese Zodiac, yes. and illustrated by Sally Rippon. Are you planning to continue working with this charity or any other charities? Um, we definitely for uh, the Friendly Child in Detention. I think it's very worthwhile to try and get children out of detention um, or out of prison, really. So, yes, definitely. Um, what would you say if I told you that some of the kids were in tears when they received their letters? I, I would, I was in tears when I heard about it, so I can imagine that that um, the children, some of the children would have been in tears. It's just such yeah. a moving thing to connect. And I think you know, that you are so wonderful to have done that and very generous as well. So, well done, Bell Primary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.